I'd like to share with you on this week's Parsha Bolok something very nice from the Rebbe Levi Yitzhak, the Rebbe's father. It says in the Posuk, in one of the Nevois, in the prophecies of Bilam, it says, the Yoroi me Agag Malkoi, which means your king will be raised over Agog. Explains Rashi and the Rashbam expounds that all the kings of Amalek were called Agog. As we have in the Megillah, Homon Ho Agogi. The family of Amalek were called under the name of Agog. Ask Rebbe of Yitzhak, what does the name Agog have to do with Amalek? In the unique style, Rebbe Levi Yitzhak, he explains that when the trader calls somebody with a certain name, the theme of what it's all about is in sometimes the explanation of the name or in the numerical value and also in the order of the letters. Here in Agog, we have three letters, Aleph, Gimel, Gimel. Aleph is one, Gimel is three, and we have another Gimel. And Rabbi Levi Yitzhak comes and explains like this. The name Agog comes from the word Gag, which means roof higher up. The person got many floors, but the roof symbolizes something that's higher than the regular rooms of the house. We spoke a couple of weeks ago what the Alter Rebbe says in Torah or that the etymology, the root of the name of Amole comes from the word umolak esroisei, we snip off the head, which means separating the head from the body. So just a short introduction to what the Alter Rebbe explains in Peregimel and Dalet, in Tanya and everything we understood. The way the person works, a person has a mind, and we have, he has chokhmobina, wisdom and understanding. And then after he understands something, Dr. Rebbe says in the end of Perigimel, you have to have to the next component, and that is called the da'as. Da'as means bonding, internalizing, connecting to what you learn. Many times some, someone can learn something and it stays in his mind, doesn't affect them personally. If you want to connect with it, bond with it, internalize it, that's the middle of da'as. And that's why when you have tefillin, you have on the head, symbolizes your chokhmah bina. The knot on the back, that is parallel what's called the chassidus to das. Connecting the head to the body, to your heart, to your emotions. In the emotions, the Rebbe says in the end of Peter Gimel, we have basically, as it explains the chassidus in more in great detail, we have two parts. We have what's called chagas, chesed gevur, the ferris, and we have the offshoots, year of anafe, like Dr. Rebbe says in the end of Perigimel, Nihi Netzach Not going to all the details, but basically, Chagas when the person has a passionate, emotional feeling, uplifting desire to a burning flame in him to, to cleave and to want to become close to Hashem in different virtues, but it's palpable. It's an, a, in a, an arousing emotional feeling. Nehi, Netzach HaYedisoyed, is an offshoot. An ex a simple example, let's say a person learns a sikh, he comes to a brain and he gets so inspired, he makes a good resolution. And at that time, he's so uplifted and inspired. He has a fiery feeling. And that's why he makes the resolution. Come back a couple of weeks later, goes back a couple of weeks later, and the, you know that fiery feeling a little dissolves but he still remembers the resolution he made and he wants to keep to the resolution based on what he had a couple of weeks ago, that fiery, emotional, ecstatic feeling. So Chagas and he is the two parts of the emotional process of a person. Now you'll understand. Agog, says the Rebbe's father, is that same clip of Amalek. All the families of Amalek are called Agog, says the Rajbam. The Aleph, he says, I don't care what you think, but I don't want your, what you know what you have. I don't want it to get into your heart. The moment that what you understand, you'll start feeling, you'll internalize it. The Alter Rebbe gives a rule, a fact, 
Once you have love, you're going to want to do the say mitzvahs I say. You want to do the mitzvahs. Once you have yira, awe of Hashem, respect for Hashem, you're not going to want to uh, violate the the prohibitive mitzvahs. So Amalek says, I don't care what you have in your mind. You could know Hashem, but make sure that I'm going to attack that das. I want to snip at the head, separate the head from the body. So here you see how beautiful it is. Agog comes with Gag. Roof. He's the higher part of your body. He wants to separate over there where you put your knot of your tefillin to separate your head from the body. What does he want to accomplish? He wants to have that clip over there to cut off that aleph symbolizing the one mida, the das. I don't want it to come down into the emotions. The emotions are six midas. That's two gimels, six. And also it breaks up into two. You have the Chagas, Chesed Devot Peres, you have the Nahi, and he wants to attack. Now I want to make sure that that Seichel that you have, you understand, your Seichel that key shouldn't affect you, but your heart, that you should have the fervor and your love for Hashem, because then it's going to bring you to Mitzvah. And that's what ultimately Amalek and Agog want to stop. So the whole family is called Agog to attack the Aleph. Again, I don't want that bonding, I don't want that connection. That's the one that mid of das. I'm going to attack. What do I want? Shouldn't be the the the, the after effect is. I don't want those midas, the six midas. So ultimately, that's the Aleph Gimel Gimel, the Pchinas Das, the Chabad, the Chagat, the, the Chagas, and the He, a good